Hello everyone and welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. Um, today's chapter will be extremely interesting as it's, as it's about algorithms. So when we speak of algorithms, um, let's let's um, let's talk about bubble sorting as starters. So without wasting any time, let's jump down to the Excel workbook. As you can see, uh, I've got a graphical um, presentation for you guys as to how the bubble sort would work. I've got all the codes right here and um, I will demonstrate the example once I take you guys through the bubble sorting algorithm. So in bubble sort, um, what, what we do is um, we start right from the top, we compare um, two numbers with each another and um, if um, the lower number is um, is uh, smaller than the number above we do a swap so in this instance as we can see we've got 4 and 2 so as a part of the bubble sort algorithm we will get 2 up and 4 will automatically come down so it will keep running as part of nested loop until it reaches the final cell and then again it will start right from the top so this will keep running until and unless it's actually um, sorted every number as required from smallest to highest so um, that's, that's about um, bubble sorting algorithm so uh, let me just quickly talk you guys through the coding that's right here. So we've defined um, a few um, object, range, an integer, and a string. So basically, firstly, uh, we are we are assigning an object. Um, we are assigning this workbook, this VB, equal to this workbook dot sheets bubble sort is the sheet what we are currently on and then we're assigning a range to the last row of this column and um, so, sorry first we're assigning the range as the first the first row the first row that contains a value which would be one in this case and then we're assigning an end range which which would be um, row number seven in this case and um, then finally we're running a loop from um, row 1 till um, row 7 so to start off with I will be 1 and um, the loop will run until I is 7 now inside this loop we are running another loop which will again be from row 1 till um, row 7 once again for this example now in this loop what we're checking is two values against each another so for instance the first time this loop runs it will check 4 against 2 and whatever is lower it will bring it up and um, it will it will transfer so as soon as it finds something lower it will transfer the value of 4 in a temporary in a temporary assigned string what we've assigned over here then it would transfer the value of 4 to the bottom cell and then it will transfer the temporary value which should be the lower value back to the first cell so it does sound a bit complicated but just to simplify this process um, I've automated the task so let me quickly demonstrate how this algorithm would work by running it so let me reduce the number of examples let me just keep four so let's start now so as we can see the loop has started it's comparing values and since two is lower than four it's automatically moved two up and similarly since one is lower than five it's automatically moved one up now it would run the loop once again and it's again comparing 4 with 1 and again since 1 is lower than 4 as you can see it's coming right up here's a brief summary of what's happening what are the values of i, x each time the loop runs and as you can see we've come to an end outcome where finally we've got our end result sorted in an ascending manner so anyways guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos thought it was extremely important for us to know how an algorithm does work so anyways have a nice weekend take care bye bye